What I'd like to do is introduce you to Johann Kepler. Kepler was an astronomer in the 1600s and what he is known for is his three Kepler laws or three laws of Kepler. And his, his first is that all planets move in an ellipse. Now, he discovered this by making careful observations of the whereabouts of Mars and correctly mathematically calculating where Mars would be. Now, to explain to you what an ellipse is, let's go and have a look at this bit of paper. What I've got here, as you can see, are two points, two pins, and a piece of string, or cotton, and this string will remain constant in its length <clears throat> as I create the ellipse. So the ellipse is like this, is created like this. If I move this around and lift this over here and draw this continually and get to here and move this around and there we have the ellipse. What I've got here is two is a focus and this is the second focus. So this is the feature of an ellipse to have two foci. So foci is the plural for focus. This distance here, the distance of the string, this radius and this radius, as you can see, remain constant. If I add this length to this length all the way around, that length remains constant. So that's basically the definition of an ellipse. Now the thing about an ellipse is that <clears throat> we can change the, the distance between those two foci and if I move this to here, the closer these are, then the closer the ellipse becomes to a circle. So if I put that in here and now create my ellipse you can see that this is much closer to being a circle <clears throat> than it is to being um, a more or less much more egg-shaped ellipse and of course if these two are sitting right on top of the, uh, the, each other in other words we have no distance between the two focal points then uh, obviously we'll get a circle from that. Now the significance of that is that when we're looking at the Sun here and a planet moving around the Sun, or if we're looking, for example, at the Earth, the Earth moving around the Sun, that distance does not remain constant. So we've been talking about the astronomical unit, the AU, the distance between the Sun and the Earth, that distance doesn't remain constant, so what we have to do there is to take the average. However, the main point of this video is to show you what an ellipse is and to introduce you to Kepler's first law. That is, that planets around our sun move in an ellipse.